So if you're wondering if it's possible to get into cybersecurity without going through the IT route or how difficult it is, you've clicked on the right video. This person is asking, is it possible for someone with no IT experience to learn cybersecurity with just the Google course and these resume and portfolio tips, or is it too difficult without starting in IT elsewhere? So this comment was left on a video where I was talking about what I would do to get into cybersecurity with like nothing but the Google cybersecurity support certificate, not spending money anywhere else. So to answer the question, yes, it is possible to learn cybersecurity from zero. You're just going to learn a, a bunch of other stuff related to IT as well. And it is possible to go from no background directly into cybersecurity, but I just, I don't necessarily recommend it. It's not, in my opinion, it's not the most optimal path. So I'll kind of explain all about that in this video. So if you have any interest in cybersecurity or you just want to debate me in the comments or something definitely keep watching and before we get started i just want to say we have a whole bunch of free practice questions online that you can use very easily for a plus network plus security plus cissp as well they're all very high quality questions with answer explanations as well as a reference to the book and the page number and everything really decent check them out and yeah onto the video so to actually get a job in cybersecurity or pretty much anywhere in tech it, it only boils down to two steps the first step being getting an interview and then passing an interview nothing else really matters and everything you kind of do with the intent of getting a job just boils down to these two things. But the problem with cybersecurity is experience is weighted kind of heavily because it's a subset of IT. And if you don't have any background in cybersecurity or IT, it makes it pretty difficult. And it is possible to get interviews still, but you just need to make sure your other areas are, are pretty strong. Like, you know, on your resume or written communication, if you don't have experience, you, you probably should make sure you have a bachelor's degree definitely check out this video for that you need to have at least like a couple strong certifications i would recommend like search that employers know what they are like for example security plus or ccna or something like this um you 100 in like 50 percent should have a portfolio like a really strong portfolio with some decent projects on it as well and it is possible to manufacture your own experience as well what this might look like is maybe you start your own company and you make a bunch of content on YouTube about cybersecurity training or education or something like this, or you're some kind of cybersecurity evangelist making posts about it on LinkedIn, like giving people little, little practice questions or something like this. And you can you can frame that on your resume because if you, you make your own company, you put cybersecurity things in there in conjunction with having relevant certifications in a portfolio, it's infinitely better than not having any experience at all, right? But anyway, to consistently get interviews, like actually actual cybersecurity interviews from zero, it's going to take you a decent amount of time to build up your resume to that level, like to get the relevant education and certifications. If you super go super hard at WGU and you're really structured and optimized, it's possible you get your bachelor's degree in cybersecurity in like maybe a year or something. And then along the way, inevitably, you're going to get all those certs as well. So that's kind of the hard part out of the way. And then you just need to work on polishing up your portfolio and then, you know, manufacturing your experience. And this, this will take probably like 12 to 13 months or something like this. That's if you're going like super hard, like a year for the bachelor's in cybersecurity is, is pretty fast, I would say. If you get time, I recommend checking out these interviews I did with these two. They both went from no technical background into cybersecurity directly, and they put in a lot of effort as well. Like both of them had bachelor's degrees. One of them was in an unrelated field, but they both they both put in a lot of effort. And if you want to get a good idea of what you could expect to do, definitely check out both of these videos. It is worth noting if you look at the framework that social network is really strong. So if you can you know, make friends with somebody who's in a, a relevant position to help you get a job, that might be a, a good idea. I'm not gonna like share tips on that in this video or anything, but just know that like, if your social network is, you know, quote unquote good enough, that could either give you a free interview or, or pass the interview for free, or you could just be like given a job like completely for free, like based on your social network. So it's, Normally people like aren't in these positions, so I don't talk about it very much because um, it like discourages people, but just it's just something to think about and be aware of, right? I say trying to go from zero directly into cybersecurity is not really optimal because it, it just generally tends to take a long time, especially if you're holding out for only a cybersecurity job. What I, I do tend to recommend people to do is spend, you know, two to three to four months probably around three months if you do it properly, um, studying and then just get a job in quote unquote normal IT like help desk or something like this. 
because you can just start earning money sooner rather than later, not to mention all IT jobs at least have some component of cybersecurity in them. I recommend like once you start working, recognize what those components are and then go kind of really hard on them and frame them in a security uh, centric way. So for example, if you are provisioning a lot of user access and help desk or something, you can kind of frame that as IAM on your resume, like identity and access management. Or you find yourself responding to like a lot of users for like, uh, maybe they click on malicious links or there's some kind of malware that you deal with, like, oh, I, I, a virus came on my computer or something like this. You can frame that as, as incident response and even talk about NIST 861. Or if you find that your you know help desk or whatever is really unorganized and you don't have standard operating procedures around responding to malware outbreaks you can create documentation around it and then you know essentially incident response playbooks and put that in your resume there's always like something you can do in your like quote unquote normal it job to frame it in like a security centric way that will help you get that dedicated cybersecurity job in the future. So this whole time, like you start working after three months, you start getting real actual experience on your resume and you're learning all those little nuances of what it means to work in IT and you're getting money this whole time and you're even kind of building out your social network too. Like a lot of stuff happens when you start working, not just like experience on your resume. Like a lot of, a lot of other stuff happens that will, that will really help you in the future when it comes to getting those like dedicated cyber job that you want. I do teach two courses. I teach like a normal entry-level IT course to help people get a job as fast as possible in IT. And I also teach a cybersecurity course. And the cybersecurity course, you know, anyone can join it, even people who don't have a background in IT. But I, I tell them all the time, and I have it in my course, like especially if you don't have any IT background when you finish the course and you're applying for jobs, you should 100% apply for both IT and cybersecurity jobs. Just don't only apply to jobs that say like cyber in the title and just like hold out forever. You like thousand percent need to apply to both. If you look at this, these are some of the jobs that people who graduated my cyber course ended up getting. And you'll notice like not all of them are cybersecurity centric, right? You see a help desk, I see IT support analyst, junior system admin, network operations one. There's a lot of cyber on here, but there's a, a lot of like non-cyber as well. So it's, it's totally normal and you, we don't even know like, a lot of these IT jobs, they could have like a huge cyber component to them. It's just like really hard to tell actually until you start working. From like the standpoint of money and, you know, the pressure of job hunting and economics and getting experience and pretty much everything, I, I really recommend to just try to get an IT job as fast as possible. And then, you know, as you're getting money and experience, just do what you can to fill out your you know, employability framework as it pertains to working in cybersecurity and then just kind of go from there. That's what I would personally recommend. In the end, all it really boils down to is getting an interview and passing an interview. So don't forget to check out the employability framework. I think it will help you a lot when it comes to thinking about, you know, what you need to focus on when trying to find a job. And I also made some nice free practice question decks uh, A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, as well as CISSP. Um, we're working on ITIL right now. It might be out already, but check those out. Tons of free practice questions, and yeah, we'll see you in the next video.